Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule Waves 2 as Austria Hungary episode number 63, maybe. Alright. In the last episode, we designed what did we were what were we doing? Oh my gosh. I thought we had a design out. Look at all these crazy ships being built. Yeah, okay, we did. We finished and we designed we designed and finished and decided to put the rubber stamp on. The official seal of approval. And we are building the Ausdauer. If that's like anywhere near. Oh my gosh, it's 1952, 53. Oh my gosh. My goodness, it's quite late. Um, yeah, and then we did a lot of refits, which is why we see a whole bunch of ships under construction. A lot of them are Corvettes. And we'll have to cycle a few more of the Corvettes in and out once we get the, once we get some of these refits back. Uh, I think that even the 1946 ships should be refit, including our dear Radetzky, and not least of all, I mean, I, the Radetzky is actually, when I when I think about it, one of the best candidates for a refit, because we can get, oh, wait, okay, I, I thought we could get the better fire control, so that's not a thing, we can still get some better, I mean, hell, we can get Sam's, <laughs> we can get Sam's on this thing, it only has three guns main, so... Oh, I don't know. Maybe we'll just try to start with this. Aft, aft center line superimposed. We have to m figure out a way to get 800 tons down, but that's fine. So we'll just drop some guns. I want to auto load this as well. My God. Oh my God. Hmm. Huh. This is like a god. This is a tough, 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 tough call. I want the Sams. There's just no. Oh, okay. This is. It doesn't matter where you are. So let me. We just delete this one and add it somewhere else. No, I don't want them that close though. Let's try to get it L maybe. Q. Yeah, okay, that works. Uh, it's like, we probably can get rid of these altogether. And we still can't afford it. My god. But I've been told that they're just so much better. It's better to have SAMs than any dual-purpose weaponry and all. And remember, although it's nice to have the dual-purpose weaponry, basically our, our biggest interest is in making sure that these guys can protect themselves. So, yeah... We want a lot of this stuff going on, and I don't know. Maybe I can make uh, something like this. What I want to do is just switch these to... No, six, I need some 6-inch guns. We need some secondaries. I might just be trying to do too much. What if we replace machinery? <laughs> this is the Radetzky. She's so dear to me. Even though I guess we have two even better ships out there. Oh, my. We can actually do it. Okay, that's, this is the great news. We can just close and restart with a clean slate. Uh, I almost never replace machinery, but let's kind of take a look at this, especially since we're pretty sure we might end up scrapping the Dom Dom Dimental. Are we going to scrap them? I don't think so. Yeah, I think we decide not to, but let's look. The cost of this ship is 180000 The rebuild cost, if we do almost nothing, is just 1000 Replace machinery... And the rebuild cost is actually only 37000 It's 12 months. That's a long time. We don't expect to be at war within 12 months, though. Okay, I like that better. <clears throat> now we can put what um, auto loaders. This is gonna be like really good at destroying things, but I would like to put auto loaders on the other one too. So question, I okay. So this is where we were before we were this. This is I think exactly where we were, right? <clears throat> we're at 130. 
if I put, uh, and we're at 59, 130, 59. Okay, well, we have, uh, the apparently the auto loaders give you a 50% boost to your dual purpose because we can see that exactly. Okay, it's 142. It's actually worse to have the auto loaders. Okay, well, that settles it. We're probably going to sacrifice some of our heavy um, anti-aircraft armament in order to get um, auto loaders on our six inch guns, which is just going to be so devastating to anything. These will just become death, death, floating death wagons. If we get into surface action fights, at least. Yeah, and we still have nine tons of ill. I mean, we, I mean, we can raise lower all these things. So you go ahead and do one of each. Perfect. Okay, so this is actually interesting. This would be a 12-month, a $42,000 investment. $42,000, $42,000. Hmm. I, since this is going to take 12 months, I think I will drop this down by one. Um, it's going to give us the ability to do something good, I'm pretty sure. Can we, do we not have the ability, by the way, to just do more of these guys? Yeah, effective fire control. So we can't do that. Let me delete that one then. This is all good. So we get 264 if we drop this by, I think this is fine to drop it down to 100. Surface fights are probably going to be short and deadly anyway, especially with auto loaders, the best accuracy, all kinds of things that are going to really make a difference. Now, if we go to auto loaders now, we can't afford it. Alternatively, we could start. Yeah, well. Okay, we can get this back up to 65, and that's nice. And then maybe one of each. Or just two more of those. The thing is, aircraft are getting are now becoming jets, and I'm not sure light AA is as effective. But that's the theory. I don't know the. I wish we knew the formulas. Okay, this is actually pretty good, and it's going to be so expensive, which we don't really have the money for now that I'm looking at our balance. So this will have to wait a little bit. I think we have the time to do it, but we're not going to make it yet. Might be one of the very few times where a refit um, through replacing machinery is worth it, because that's actually not for destroyers, for light cruisers, for even heavy cruisers. I think that even early battleships, replacing the machinery usually ends up being like a third of the cost of the ship. And in this case, it was not even a fourth the cost. It was what, about a fifth, 20% of the cost of a new ship. So that actually might be worth it to get. Well, okay, no, I would say it's not worth it, but I'm, I'm crazy. For one fifth the cost of a new ship, all we were doing is adding. Wow, we were adding secondary guns. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna struggle with this one on my own and maybe come back with a decision after some, some time to think about it. Let's move forward. Okay, they're selling us something. Yes. We only just now got surface attacks. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's 1953. <laughs> Okay, well, fair enough. Wow, that's a lot. Oh, well, you gotta be kidding me. They really want us to keep buying these things. I don't want this name actually, so let me pause and get another one because I think we already have the Von Tegethoff. Yeah, so we already have it. Wait, Maximilian? Isn't it Wilhelm? I'll check that too while I'm while I'm at it. Um, I renamed it. I didn't rename it yet, but I'll get to it in a second. I'm just gonna use the suggest button in the design area to get a new name. But anyway, um, original warranty. I don't want to major. Should avoid or we get more money. Uh, it's pretty obvious what I want to choose here. I don't really care. Interesting. 
Medium bombers are here. Okay, so we have faster, longer range, better in everywhere but toughness. Okay, so I must have chosen toughness in my previous ones. And the sad news is none of these will carry torpedoes. Hmm. Well, this one is significantly lower range. This one is a little bit faster, longer range. I mean, we're talking about ranges that just, just, just don't matter. Simply do not matter. So I might choose the bottom one. It's a tiny bit slower, but it's faster than the other. Oh my gosh, no it's not. Oh yeah, 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 yes it is. I was thinking this was a 406. I don't know why my brain was tripping out there for a moment. So it is much faster, yeah. So I think we'll choose this one because it has the higher maneuverability, higher toughness. Range will never be a factor. And yeah. <laughs> it's the Lloyd 168 or the Berg Lloyd 169. So our decision is made. Now we also want to probably Get another one. The one with the torpedoes will not be obsoleted. We actually like her. And yeah, it's probably time for a fighter now. Fighter, we want speed and firepower. Or maneuverability. I think firepower is going to just come on its own, so let's do speed and maneuverability. Okay, now let me rename this one. Give me, we'll, yeah, we'll just do it this way. CL suggest, there it is. Whatever this name is, you're the winner. <laughs> Rename ship. There's too many things. We'll just do it like this. I want the game to go crazy. Very good. Better armor quality. Super hardened penetrator. Ah. And we have better cap effectiveness. Okay. Yeah, what, what are we doing here? We're waiting to have a budget that's not negative. Oh, Donner Sykes finished. Yes, we'll take forced lubrication. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense when you talk about it as a machinery. But oh, and hey, that actually will should translate to a, a greater weight savings if we do end up um, replacing the machinery on the Rudetsky. What? Voice radio has only become a thing. Wait. Voice radio has only become a thing in 1953? When did it become a thing in real life? Huh. Oh, oh my. Are you kidding me? Freaking... Won't talk about it. Um, do we want to improve relations? No. France would be a great last opponent for us. Oh, okay. 2,500. Okay. So, would that allow us... <laughs> we said no, and the relations tensions went down anyway. Is it possible to get a destroyer at this point that has... Oh my gosh, it is. Well, not really, according to this, but <laughs> we can, I'm sure we can make it work. Yeah, absolutely. This is nonsense. We have two dual purpose. Okay, one's there. Let me just, can I move it up just a little bit? Yeah, and then we can change the place where this one is. And then we can keep moving things until everything looks like it works. Okay, um, take this one down. Yeah, I think we can make this work. 
Wow, not with that ammo. Zero, zero, zero. Wow, one, th wow, wow, wow. I mean, they did almost everything correct already. The only way this could work is if we make it short range. Hmm, I, I mean, I guess it's, does AA directors, I'm just, they put an AA director on there. Oh, I do have dual purpose here. Yeah, that's smart. This is a, that's, this is a very well-designed battleship, I would say. I can take this down to 150. So do we not have autoloaders for 5-inch guns? This is just comical. Oh, wow. Okay, so the solution to our problem is simply go to 4-inch guns with autoloader and have more... AA as well? Okay, well then, yes. The only thing we want on these guys is the SAMs anyway. So, yeah, they're the four, the guns on these things, the 4-inch guns, 5-inch guns, whatever they are, they aren't going to be that effective anyway. This thing is no longer supposed to be a surface killer. The guns are pretty much meaningless. The only thing it really needs to do is attack with torpedoes, which it, has, it still has 8, but it's no longer even meant for that. It's just going to be around killing things. But if I can, actually, I need to figure out a way to get like at least extra K guns on this. Yeah, I might I might even take the hit on the AA directors just to get this. Because <clears throat> we really would like, I don't know which one's more important. I guess the Ford ASW Mortar. I don't, I really don't know which one of these is, is more important and why that one wasn't checked. But I think we'll choose that. Um, because Ford ASW Mortar is, it's like uh, basically a, an advanced K-Gun, isn't it? <laughs> K-Gun's just a mortar firing off to the side or behind you, and this one's going forward, so. This is an interesting design for a destroyer. I'm not going to build this yet. We don't have the money. We have other things that will probably be put towards it, but we can now get destroyers. It kind of makes every destroyer we have right now obsolete. Which is, yeah, I actually do think it does. But at least the other ones are 33 plus. Well, except for these guys. The Metterniches probably have seen their time. They've served their time. What are these? It's 1927. 25 years of service. It's quite a long time for a destroyer. We can probably eke out a few more years, though, if we want. Yeah, I mean, basically, my my policy, or not my policy, my, my thinking about everything right now is our ships probably don't need to change until the next war, and so, therefore, at the end of the game. We have a good fleet. Oh, what we do need is the Donner Slag needs an air group. That's, that's kind of important. Oh, she got one. Huh? Did I do that? Did I do that? That's a throwback. Did the people who were being refit, are they out? No, the trans are not out yet. Okay, one more month, and then we have to put those ships back. I mean, put those aircraft back. Um, okay, while we're, at it, while we're at it, who... Okay, Lindos and Rhodes are lacking bases, so we, we need to go over to the map and look at... Lindos and Rhodes... I think we only need ones on Lindos, but we do need air groups on Lindos. So let's copy this. All right, fine, we'll copy it. And Lindos. Okay, that's Lindos, and then Rhodes doesn't really need anything, but we could. Maybe we can think about just doing... We could even do a group of fighters here. And then do a group of medium bombers. I think that's fine. So we won't get rid of roads. We'll, the base is over. It's We don't need 100. It's probably what the Germans did, but it's fine. Okay, they need their ships back.
aircraft. They need their aircraft back. Why, why, brain, why do you do this? Okay. No, I, I want you guys like this, and I want to drag you. What's going on? There, got it. Tehran. Go to Tehran, go to reserves. You guys. Send them to that one. Reserve. Got it. All right, we're in business. Very good. We're still very much in the negative, but hey, I'm sure we'll figure something out. Make sure everybody's, yeah, reserve. Some of these guys aren't on the reserve. That's better. Um, that helps a little bit. We probably, uh, we're doing, probably doing the same thing here. Yeah, look at all these guys on active fleet. Go to reserve. Actually, you guys are mothball. Mothball everyone here, and it won't work, but that's fine. I mean, we actually need these guys to be refit anyway, so let's now get change of the guard. Seven? We need seven. Okay, let's move these guys up. It did give us one extra ASW, by the way, to do the refit. And then we have eight here, and we have seven, dang it. <laughs> and we have six. Okay, so we'll move these guys up and two of the other ones. And next month we'll do the refits on those really obsolete ships. Um, we need to mothball some more stuff like our carriers. And look at that, we're positive now. That's all it took. A mutual reduction. This ruse is to get a... <laughs> they are giving us a lot of interesting events with France. Things are definitely swinging in that way. Oh, International Conference on Reducing Arms. Are we building anything? Is anybody building anything? Two battle cruisers, one battle cruiser, one carrier, two carriers. Yeah, I think it's time for us to... Oh, we're building four light cruisers, but that's fine. Actually, we... Uh, I'm going to say this top one. I like the idea of an international conference, but I think that having the AI start building better escort ships at this point, because they'll build newer ones, because it's the only thing they'll be able to build, is actually going to be more difficult for us. I'd rather them build battleships. Okay, we have improved motorboat. Motorboat, motorboat, blah, blah, blah. I think we can probably mothball a few extra people since we didn't get any complaints. Okay, we can also do it this way. We can do eight, rebuild, and seven, rebuild. Okay, four ships of wrong type not rebuilt. We'll rebuild them as something else then, I guess. Great. And no foreign stations problems. How are we doing on foreign stations? Yeah, we're actually a little bit over, but I'm not going to sweat it. It's going to be like seven. I'm not going to worry about that. <clears throat> yeah, as far as mothballing goes, I guess it would have to be some of the Nikes we end up doing. Oh, we lost the Nike, the namesake, huh? Well, let's try mothballing one of you guys. Yep, it worked. We will sell things to the Germans. Yeah, we're in good shape. Uh, I think we're okay. Researching the fighters, which will be done next month. That's great. And we have... I think we have great... Good numbers for all the air bases. Let's issue an ultimatum with Russia. Ha! Huh. Take that. Again, I kind of want people to, uh, to acquire territory. It doesn't matter this late in the game, but that's the only way I can acquire it. 
No, ignore that. Okay, our new jets. You saw there was a picture of a jet there. Oh wow, these these are these are very good. Oh wow, these are very good. This one is probably going to be the winner. It has by far the worst range, but best firepower, best maneuverability, and good toughness. Don't really care about the bomb loads. They're all identical anyway. Speed is just a smidge slower, but maneuverability is too higher. And I think that you like relative 16, no, 18 divided by 16 is a much bigger gap than 287 uh, 281 divided by 279. Like we're looking at basically a percent there, maybe less. And here we're looking at, I don't know. Oh, it's like 10% basically. Um, a little bit more than that. Just a little bit more, like 12%. So 1% for 12%. But well, that's a relative thing. I mean, we don't know if it's, that's probably not the best way of judging the stats. It's probably like raw speed difference, which could pay it, play a difference, but it's probably not like two is probably not yeah, two in cruise speed, or I should be saying five in max speed because that's the combat stat. Is probably not better than two in maneuverability. Anyway, aviatic, is there anything I'm missing here? Because that does happen. It is a lot shorter in range. That's There's no two ways about that even has lower range than our other fighter, but I, I it has enough range, I would say. Um, escort missions are on light range, I believe, so 350, that's enough. So let's go ahead and obsolete our old fighter. It'll disappear as soon as the new one finishes development, which is gonna take another year. Oh wow, we have average reliability on the flying boat. Well, dang it, it has torpedoes though, so we don't really wanna get rid of it. And the dive bomber is slow. Let's actually get a new dive bomber. That, I think that's a good idea. Speed and bomb load, sure. Yeah, they're just doing, they're doing their absolute darndest to get peace with France, but I have, <laughs> I've been turning it aside at every, every step of the way. We just developed wolf pack tactics, huh? Five inch auto loading dual purpose guns. You SOB, I can't believe you took so long to get here. I have SAMs and we just <laughs> developed it. We have SAMs for crying out loud. We are actually still all allied with the US. I forgot about that. United States of allied with Austria. Hmm. Should get our refits back and how are we doing as far as ship construction goes? Because now I'm starting to think, what if we can squeeze in another destroyer? Or another light cruiser. I mean, I guess we have built enough light cruisers at this point. Oh, we'll make a public apology. Supermarine Kingham is entering service. It's really faster than our fastest torpedo bomber. Oh man, you guys are just... Forcing me to, wow, three torpedoes. That's insane. The Vought Hellcat, a torpedo bomber? Ugh, just can't imagine it. Um, yeah, so I guess after this we'll do a torpedo bomber. But ours is pretty good. Oh, that's what I want to do. I want to go back and fix the Corvettes on active service. So we can get, like, half these guys can be... I mean, we can do it this... Oh, they're in the Mediterranean already. So just mothball them. Probably helped a little bit. Budget is looking good. Very healthy. Yeah, now I can talk about the Rodetsky, since war is probably within a year away. Should we do this refit? I mean, I really feel like it, this ship needs to have, I, I feel like it needs to have SAMs on it. I feel that pretty strongly. This is much to its benefit. Because this is actually aiding us in the air war, if you want to think about it that way, which is becoming the most important thing. 
Um, we now have five inch dual purpose guns. So what I think our goal here, I mean, I think what our we're gonna do is we're gonna do something a little bit, 41,000. We're just gonna do a merger. We're gonna get 65 out of this, make it 77. So we'll increase, and this is 25 inch guns auto loading, it's gonna be like <clears throat> it's going to be a hell for any, even destroyers, I think, are going <laughs> to just not want to get involved with that. And I wanted to save a lot of space so that we can fill up here. This was still my goal is to get to protect these darn things. Oh, okay, we're a little bit over. <laughs> just a teeny bit. Wait a second. I did that wrong. There we go. Okay, so that's is uh, still a little, uh, still a little bit of weight remaining. Um, yeah, this is what we need to do, though. I'm pretty sure this is what we need to do. And now we're looking at only forty-four thousand. I mean, it was forty thousand after the re replace machinery. You just whatever you do at that point is barely going to make a difference compared to the cost of machinery. So 40 compared to the 170 or whatever it was, yeah, that is slightly below 25%. I don't know if this is a good idea. I really don't. But I know for sure we're not going to build another ship, another battleship in time for the next war, which is also the last war of this series. So there's never been a better time. And the cost is not as high as it normally is. I mean, just all signs point to yes, let's do this. Before I do, I just want to consider what other things I might want to do. Um, I think the 25 inch guns, dual purpose auto loading, but mostly and I'm talking about the surface capabilities right now. I'm hoping that five inch guns are gonna be okay for secondaries. We won't be quite as good at defending ourselves against light cruisers. That's the real downside here. I'm trying to look at if we go up to six inch guns. Yeah, we're going to be much, much less effective. So uh, the good news is 5-inch guns should still be very punishing to destroyers. And um, we'll be able to take down light cruisers with our 17-inch guns. We're not lowering the rounds per gun, so we can kind of treat this as, okay, <laughs> basically we're buying five extra shots that can go towards light cruisers. And the AA capability of this thing is really good. I thought, you know, I like this. I haven't done anything like this on a ship at least not for a very long time, because I do live by the rule that um, replacing machinery is not a good idea, and I do stand by that still, just in this metagame perspective when we're gonna end the game soon, it's, you know, there's the alternative is not to do anything at all, because we can't buy a ship, which is normally my argument that you'd be better off buying a new ship than replacing this one, making it like 2% better for one third the cost of a new ship. Okay, that was still nonetheless pretty expensive. Eh, we're, the monthly balance is still positive though. <clears throat> we probably wanna make a similar decision with these guys, which means not replacing machinery though. And you can see, funny enough, because the, <laughs> the, the speed on these things is so low, and somebody had the idea to bulge them, and I actually think that that is the right move here, because they're just gonna be so slow anyway. I do think there's something to be said about not doing that from the perspective that, um, I believe speed is, is one of the elements that plays into accuracy. Um, nonetheless, if it gives us a couple of SAMs, which I, I guess it is going to give us, then this is still pretty potent. <clears throat> Let's just move this funnel, although I doubt you could move it in real life. Just <laughs> slide her on forward. And now we're negative after those two SAMs, so wow, we got our work cut out for us. Yeah, but we have the same situation here. We're at 7,000. This is where it might make a difference. 7,000, 7,000, 7,000, 7,000. Yeah, we're up to 11,000 and we didn't actually get to where we wanted either. This is probably still the way forward is to do something like this. In fact, <clears throat> it's kind of crazy, but I think the best bet for us is actually like to remove one of the rear turrets. These are tor oh my gosh, these are torpedo defense one.
We're going to redo this. We're not going to keep it, but now I'm just theory crafting. Still 2,000 after that. Okay, what if I do like reduction? I don't think you can do this. Can you do this? 32. Yeah, it's a rebuild. Okay, now don't want to do that. But if we delete it, it should be fine. Yeah. <clears throat> it's kind of what um what you'd want though is you you'd want to just just put tons of sams on this thing and replace replace that one can we do something like this ah, damn it I would love to have three. Can I add fire control? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. There's like no reasonable way to upgrade these. I'm kind of stuck on this. Uh, I might want to just let people comment about maybe maybe I'm missing something here. Is it worth it to get rid of the the turret? I mean, the surface capabilities of this ship. <laughs> aren't that great, but honestly, it's the only thing she has going for her anyway. Like, why do we have her in the fleet? I don't know. Maybe this is... I don't know. I might be just arriving at the unfortunate conclusion that we should scrap this ship. <clears throat> I, I really can't see... Like, my trick with the 5-inch guns, I think, is good. It probably is the best way to move forward right now in the this point in the game when everything is aircraft. But... I just don't know. And they're not worth it to spend very much money on either. We don't want to put more money into things which are basically done. Although, you know, metagame again, Tortuga, I gotta think. Gotta metagame a little bit. They're, they're gonna be you know, they're finishing the game with us. We don't have, we don't have a replacement. Yeah, shoot. I don't know. I don't know, we have probably some other refits we can do. Let's get the Farkas to have whatever the best thing we can have on her is, which I think is gonna be, if we can, well, autoloaders. <laughs> Maybe not. I think we're gonna end up cutting down on her aircraft armament in order to have Two Sams. We can delete a funnel, which might even make sense. It didn't save us any weight though, sadly. Okay, what do we need to get down to? Zero? Yeah, not even zero helps. Oh, getting rid of the director would still take off some tonnage, it's funny. I'm just looking. I don't think this is what the path I want to go forward. I could get at least one. <sighs> I can get at least one on there. It's going to be better than nothing. Okay, but what if we do this? What if we delete one of our... Well, we'll delete both and we'll add it back somewhere else. There we go. And then we need Sam's. Yeah, I don't think we can fit both. Let's put the W one away. Okay, that looks, oh, that looks fair. We're only 440 overweight now. Oh, you're right, that should go down quite a lot once we cut back down to only two float planes. I think this is okay. Having just two per carrier is still, I mean two per cruiser is still good. Let's hope we can make this work. Oh yeah, we can definitely make it work. Now the question here, 
18 without autoloader ends up being 44. And we take this down to 12. And we have extra weight. So we can almost get 14. So we want to try to do this. Because these, um, they're still pretty. Yeah, we'll do it this way. <clears throat> I, don't know, I might even take it down like this. 6 and 40. Because again, everything's going to be so fast now that light, I don't know how effective light AA is going to be. All right, so this is actually a pretty cheap rebuild too. It's only 3,700. It's still eight months, which is, I mean, it at least takes the monthly cost down. I think this is the right call. We at least get one Sam on there and we actually end up with more, if I'm not mistaken, this is more HAA factor than we had before. Slightly reduced in personal individual anti-aircraft guns. But these SAMs, I mean, I've been told that they're just like the best thing ever. So I'm going to rely on that. I mean, the, be the real best thing ever is the cap. But we're going with this. 52. So let me cancel and then just look at what you, they are right now. Again, 52. Oh, they're 59. So we did lose some HAA. Hmm, okay. Yeah, because we took this down from, from 24, we took it down to 14. Yeah, of course. So we did lose a little bit, but we gained it one Sam. Yeah, I, th I still think it's worth it. Oh, okay, now we have too many people mothballed. We'll bring you back to preserve. That's fine. And this is where we'll call the video to a close. Okay, so if you have any thoughts about the... This is the hot topic in the Navy. All the people are sitting down having an opinion over lunch at the mess. Everyone's talking about what they think should happen. And I don't know what the answer to that is myself. So we'll find out the next episode, I guess. Until then, thanks for watching. Stay safe and take care.